Hello and welcome once again to the show that brings you the best mix of adrenaline and alternative sports. Mountaineering can be the most fulfilling and rewarding sport in the world, but it can also result in devastating disappointments. There are many factors and decisions along the way that define the result of success or failure. Even the most experienced alpinists can always learn more. Dali Arnott from Bergen, Switzerland is now one of the most renowned climbers in Europe. Brought up in the Swiss Alps, he has traveled the world pursuing his mountaineering passion and honing his skills. He has been involved in many significant climbs, both in summer and winter, with his aim to be an all-round mountaineer. The project that really put Danny on the map was the speed record on the biggest north face in Western Europe, the Eiger. This pushed his strength and skill to the test and was a life-changing record. What normally takes climbers two to three days, Danny did in two hours and 28 minutes, beating Uli Steck's long-standing record. At first it was very cool to have set the record, but it didn't mean that much to me. I still see myself as an ice climber or a mixed climber. That's the area where I'm the strongest. But now I see it was important for me as a springboard to become known. The Matterhorn is one of the most iconic mountains in the world. And when it came to the 150th anniversary of the first ascent, Danny wanted to see how fast he could do it. First summited by Edward Wimper and team on the 14th of July, 1865, this impressive mountain is not the most technical, but has claimed 500 lives over the years. For competent climbers, the 1,280-meter vertical will normally take 8 to 10 hours. Danny decided to attempt the Schmidt route on the north face, where Uli Steck again set the record at 1 hour and 56 minutes. Struggled, but soon found his rhythm and reached the summit of the Matterhorn at 4,478 meters above sea level in just one hour and 46 minutes, 10 minutes ahead of countryman Steck. 